Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again. We're on a 14 streak and our next character up is Jacob and Ezel, But, but, I think I'm going to actually, I know I'm trying to go through them in order. I think I'm going to leave Jacob and Ezel and move on to the Tainted characters and probably leave Tainted Lost and Jacob and Ezel until later down the line. Just because I didn't expect to get on a streak this good and I don't want to see it go um just to me sort of trying to stick to some sort of routine so we're gonna play tainted isaac now and make our way through some of the tainted characters um because yeah i gotta say i i um i really want to keep the streak alive i think my highest streak i've ever got on the youtube channel is um 27 or 28 or something along those lines um i can't remember exactly what it is now it's, it's definitely in the mid 20s um so mainly because I don't I don't often streak I don't I don't really go for streaks um, as you guys that have been watching for a long time which I assume will be all of you at this point if you're watching now there's a probably a lower chance that you're a newer viewer in fact that's gonna be my question of the day today how long have you been watching Isaac in general and specifically this channel it'd be interesting to get some metrics on who are the newer people uh, it'd be also interesting I know that some people just don't comment at all and that's completely fine I'm very much the same I don't really comment on YouTube videos as much but those of you that have never commented or, or like don't comment very often it'd be nice to see, hear from you guys and let me know um, how long it's been that you guys have been watching because uh, I'm gonna say it's always nice to see metrics on like how many new viewers we're getting and how many people sort of from the back uh, before repentance days we've got still watching I think that's really interesting to see um but yeah, you'll you'll know that um, I don't really go for streaks very often. I play in a style where I basically take items that are often large risks, or I do stuff that is largely quite risky uh, because I find that enjoyable. Um, and so, oh, I forgot that we had this. Uh, this is two pretty good items. I think I'm gonna take shoe because it's an active. Uh, good stuff there. Yeah, shoe is good and active. It does seven times your tier damage as well, so it's pretty decent. Allows us to get multi kills, it's infinite range and stuff as well, so I think it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, not take not, it not taking up an item slot is the main reason really. Um, but yeah, you'll know that I don't really go for streaks, and so I've never really sort of aimed at building a long streak, and even this streak. I, although I am quite precious of it and I would like to keep it going, there's no guarantee of that because I do play like a moron sometimes, and I ain't gonna stop. Uh, anytime soon, so it might be that we uh, that we don't get to see it for very long. I'm gonna try and get this guy over here, but it's unlikely to work. Oh, bugger! I got him over there, then bloody missed the shot. Dude, why can't I hit this motherfucker? I don't care. It was worth it. It was worth it. Right, in terms of stuff we can go for, Hush and Bosch Rush are on the, uh, on the list there. Also, um, Mother is on the list there. we got some good stuff we can do. Um, this is kind of tricky. I don't think... I don't think I want any of these for now. I think I'm just going to buy these two and be on my way. I'm going to quickly, I don't know, I was going to say I'll go quickly go back and get that red heart from the uh, room over there. But honestly, we'll probably get a red heart from killing our boss here. Now, that was good damage. I was, I was trying to place that bomb and time it correctly to hit the bosses as they move past. But I slightly misjudged the way that these guys move. I found this boss a lot easier as we've got as time's gone on, but I still don't find them easy. Uh, we also got a really good item here. I'll definitely take that. Um, and we shall go down to the next floor. So what do we want to do here? Maybe we'll just try and do Mega Satan hu uh, Hush Boss Rush. That seems reasonable. Uh, we can go for Angel Deals and stuff. I mean, with the uh, rapidly switching items, I think Angel Deals are likely to be better on average than they normally are. We also just unlocked Revelation, so... There's also that, which I think is kind of awesome. Um, we had a an Arky run last run, which honestly, all in all, wasn't that worthwhile. We only got one mark out of it, but we unlocked Revelation. I feel that's pretty good going. Definitely not a bad thing. Gotta love that. Shoop de woo. Sinus Infection is the obvious choice here. Sinus Infection is incredible. I still don't know. Does Sinus Infection scale with luck? 
um, not affected by luck. I didn't think it was, which is actually a good thing. I'd, um, I, I, items that aren't affected by luck just have a, normally have a higher sort of base level chance. And it means that if you don't end up getting good luck, you're still in an okay position. Now, this is a room at which I, I'm kind of annoyed. Okay, this, this is, dude. This is horrible. Realistically, what I need to do here is stick a sticky tear to one of these guys. That bugger tear. That was an annoying ash room. <sighs> That's where Shoop the Whoop shines. Shoop the Whoop haters back off. Ah, I was hoping I could get secret room there. I think secret room is there. I just missed it. Ooh, okay. Um, Shoop the Whoop, you are um, you are going. Because we have ourselves whatever book we, we might want. Uh, we, we could obviously take um, Book of Virtues. Let's try and think here, though. Bomonomicon is, is one of the best books, I think. Um, or we can take, like, Satanic Bible for the extra HP. Uh, Book of Virtues does help us with Angel Chance, though. Hmm. Hmm. I think we just take Bomonomicon. Bomonomicon's so good and so fun. <laughs> I really like it. Unfortunate to leave uh, Shoop the Whoop after getting it so early, but I think overall I'm fine with it. But yeah, basically blows every enemy up, drops a bomb on all of them, and gives you a bomb upgrade for the rest of the floor. Even like even though it's only a six, uh, it's even though sorry, it's a long six room charge. I still think that's very worthwhile. Secret room? Are you here? You look to be here. Lovely stuff. I recall a soul heart being in here, or was it a sack that I wanted? I think it was a sack, actually. There's a half soul heart. It's not particularly good value, but I'll buy it nonetheless. Right, do we want to do our rooms? We're aiming for boss rush, so let's not bother with doing all of our rooms here. Uh, we've seen our item room, we've seen our shop. But yeah, getting getting the library card out of your um, out of your shop is like probably one of the better things you can get because any book it, it it allows you to work with a, a bunch of different situations. But like I said, the best one of all, in my opinion, is definitely the Bombonomicon. Um, just really good power, ability to use bombs whenever you want. It has some really, really good bonuses to it. Um, this is bombs as well, so we'll take this. Uh, I think I'll take that as well. More bombs is going to be good. Of course, we want to do angel deal here, so devil deal be damned. But yeah, of course, book of virtues would have been a good one to grab there as well, especially with the shoot the whoop wisps being so good, but I just like Bombonomicon too much. I think it's really fun. Um, and it's an item that basically I have never seen outside of getting it from the library card. We got the throw bombs. I think we get plus one bomb on using the book as well, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta be careful because these guys fire quite fast. Uh, it's not worth it for the time investment. Fuck you. you, you fucking threw all the bombs, you shits. You guys are shysters. Be careful of these motherfuckers. They're not actually that bad, these guys. They're just a bit quick. In terms of avoiding them, it's literally just walk in a circle. You're kind of annoying, because you don't really aim for me. You just kind of wander aimlessly and are really fucking hard to hit. <laughs> Oh my god, I literally can't hit this guy. Stop fucking, get back here! Yeah, shit, I've never had this much trouble with one of those enemies, actually. Oh, god damn it, it fucking dragged me into him, you bastard. We do have an XL floor here, which saves us some time, but also does mean we probably have to do sort of a good bit of backtracking here. Didn't realise that guy had herming for some reason. Oh my god, I'm getting hit a lot right now. It ain't so good, people. It ain't so good. Good, good, good. Bombonomicon. 
Yeah, it does give you plus one bomb, which is pretty nice. That was a very failed bomb there. Take this guy out. Unfortunately, bugger tears aren't going to do too much to this guy, which is a shame. Try to use bombs where I can. Throw all the bombs are good here. Ooh, the slowdown of all of this was not, not particularly helpful. Trying to use bombs where I can, but they're honestly not doing an awful lot of damage. This attack's good because we can keep the stickies on him for a good amount of time. Does make the spray quite a lot slower though. Speed or range. I guess for now I'll just take the speed because I'm going to move through rooms. I'm going to go back and do my item rooms first because then I can hopefully get another bomb Bombonomicon charge for the boss. Rather than doing the second boss straight away. But yeah, the fact that it gives you plus one bomb every time you use it as well. It's not, obviously, the plus one bomb isn't a lot, but it's like an extra. The game really didn't have any reason to really add on. And it, and it did, and it's great. You're dead to the bugger tier. Tears up. Very nice. It's only a small tears up, but it's worth it nonetheless. Try and take out this guy. Again, these are another set of enemies that just can't get stickied. So the only, the, the only big issue with bugger tears is just that there's a, there's a set of enemies that just don't get stuck. But these guys can be real assholes, especially with this poison thing going on. This guy's going to blow up in my face. Okay, I've managed to avoid it. Secret room maybe here. There you go. Ooh, we got two items, uh, both of which cost. So we got when enemies die, other enemies nearby are downgraded. Downgrading range scales with max HP. Uh, spawns a rotten heart and pick up chance for tears to inflict a long-lasting poison. Poison enemies periodically spawn blue flies. That's pretty good. We also got the fistful of ash. Uh, okay, all of those are good. We'll see if we can get the um, the money required for that. I might have to bomb my donation machine once again. I've been doing that a hell of a lot recently, but on the streak, the streak is most important. We can do like a deleted run to fill up our um, donation machine at some point. But don't know how I didn't get hit there. How are you not dead yet, my guy? Stop being so annoying. We're getting a lot of slow rooms at the minute, which is slightly unfortunate. That's good. Hmm. Dry baby. Okay, we'll take... Hmm. I'm going to take Dry Baby, just because I, although Bomber Boy sounds good, I have a feeling I'm going to hit myself with Bomber Boy quite a bit. Yeah, I have a feeling Bomber Boy isn't going to be the best for us. In fact, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to pop this so that I can grab the charge and potentially get a second charge here. This is a pretty slow floor here, but got to remember it's an XL, so it's not like all bad. Good. Deep Pockets is potentially really good, but we'll definitely bomb this to start with. Didn't quite get as much as we were hoping for here. Soul Heart, lovely. Could gamble on Deep Pockets giving us enough, but I doubt that's going to be the case. Fortune, what's that do again? I don't remember. Invoke the D7 effects. I'm just going to do that on this room because this room was fairly easy. Okay, we've got a bomb out of it. Second item room and money, where art thou? So we're now 1% off and there is money we've left around, so we should be fine for getting the items from the secret rooms now. My wiggly tears, I don't know how beneficial they're going to be, but I like the tears up. Here we go. This is a good Bombonomicon room, but I don't want to waste it because I'd rather use it on the boss. But yeah, getting bomb upgrades with Bombonomicon is very good, but yeah, the cross one, just it just covered too much of the room, I reckon. Unfortunately, not great here, but Mrs. Spooter it is. Oh, we got a Soul of Lilith. Soul of Lilith is great because I don't believe it adds to your max count. Unless, 
Oh, I think you have to have max items for that. I should have waited. Oh, well. It is what it is. Um, okay, so... Let's go and grab one of these other coins. This is definitely a lot slower than I was hoping, but... I was kind of hoping we could just do an extra room here and get a coin. From the room reward. Or from one of these poops. Yeah, the wiggly tears are definitely more of a problem than it's worth. Right, we got that. Good, good. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I messed that up with the soul of Lilith. I thought it didn't add to your item count, but I think that's only uh, the case once um, once you've hit max already. So I should have held off a little bit. But like I said, it's not a huge issue. Right, let's go to our boss. We'll bomb a nama nama con. Of course, it's probably better to save the charge and use it on the next floor, but I like the damage it does to bosses. I mean, <clears throat> look at that. Um, I'm going to take Golden Flakes because it's easily swappable and it'll make our trinket golden. Um, and we'll do that. Actually, to be fair, Golden Flakes is literally useless outside of picking it up, so let's go. Okay, we're at Necro at 13 minutes. Not the best in terms of time. But yeah, we've got a pretty big tears up for our trinket here, so I'm more inclined to keep it now. Certainly. The waviness is slightly annoying, but not terrible. We can deal with it. It also does give a spectral too, which I think is pretty valuable in itself. I'm, I'm liking this whole poison thing, though. This item that creates blue flies when we poison enemies. A long-lasting poison also is interesting. The fact that it's going to be a poison that does more... I really like that. And the fact that the blue flies won't target the enemies that they get created from is kind of nice. Like when it's solo like a boss, that's not great. But in big rooms, it's going to be good. Do a small room first to get the best out of our charges here. Good, good, good. Eternal bombs. Lovely. Okay, luckily these are all enemies where bugger tears are going to be heavily affected. I was kind of interested by that Icarus item where uh, it would downgrade enemies that are nearby. But I just think this one is overall going to be more, uh, more potent in terms of just dealing damage. A lot of large rooms on this floor, which is... Not the, not the most ideal. Yeah. Hitting that poison's always good. I don't know if uh, getting it gold has made the wiggle slightly more aggressive on the tiers. It seems like it has, but I might just be going a bit crazy. Right, here's where Spectral helps a ton. Shop here isn't super valuable. This guy's unfortunately got a very long death animation. I'm liking the fact that our character has a little lemon head right now. I always love that sprite. Good, good. Uh, tech 2 is probably pretty good for us here because I believe that works with um, with bugger tears. Yes, it does. Ooh, it also wiggles as well. Fast bombs I don't think does much for us. Ooh, uh, we only have the laser, which is intriguing. Why, why is that? What's the other item that's blocking our eye? I don't know. I mean, I'm not particularly displeased about it. It's just a bit odd. Uh, let's go to our shop real quick. We've got just about got time. Um... It's not really worth it. I'm going to buy a battery, though. I know it seems a bit stupid to buy a battery, but we've got something that generates us a ton of money, this card here, so I'd rather have a bomb use for our boss. This is weird. I don't know how... Oh, no, it's not got rid of my tears. It's just reduced my tear rate a lot. My tears are tiny. Okay, it's fine. I thought for some reason it would, like, stop me firing tears, but it hasn't. 
We're gonna get a first angel deal here. We did get two good items here. Um, we do not want stapler because I believe that'll stop us firing. So we want the other one. Um, and then here we got some good stuff. Okay, so we got stairways. Of course, the main choice right now. I'd say photon is is pretty interesting. We could go with photon. I think we're going to go with stairway, aren't we? Um, and then we want to swap it for... Honestly, just swap it for... Swap for this. I don't know what this does. Unfortunately, this does mean I'm not going to get enough money to utilize stairway for next floor. I don't think... Actually, no. I could I could go back, but I would probably miss Bosch if I did that. I'm on 16 minutes right now. Probably worth it. I'm, I'm going to scoot back and then zoom through the next floor. This is probably a bit a, a big risk for Bosch Rush. Okay, that was stupid, but we got enough money. <laughs> Not how I intended that to go, but that kind of worked out pretty well. <laughs> right, down we go. That kind of worked out pretty well. Okay, we got sp nothing great here. I'll open this up and see if there's anything great in here. Um, I can't remember what the star does. What does the star do? Killing enemy without taking damage upgrades your firing mode. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Um, we'll take it for the speed upgrade, I think. Very nice. Um, we can't afford anything else. We can kill this guy, though. Which is actually good because it allows us to uh, afford the Eternal Heart now. Before I accidentally buy anything else, I'm going to buy it mid-fight. Cool, cool. Right, we've got to be fairly quick here. We've only got three minutes. I think we should be able to clear rooms pretty quick with the setup we've got going on right now. Don't think rooms will be that big of a deal. Just depends on going the right way, really. Keep getting hit. That's not great. Golden Penny, as much as I love you, you are not, not the time of the place. Dude, I'm losing it. That helps. Don't lose the eternal heart, baby. Keep that fire rolling. Okay, time-wise, we're not doing great. I've gone the wrong way multiple times here. Sorry, but I can't. I'm too addicted to this. 25, that's fine, that's fine. Right, we've got a speedy booster here. We don't have time for all these shenanigans, game. Oh, dude. Enemies have been so hard to kill right now, it's very annoying. Attach a fuck ton of bugger tears and let them die. Hey, we leveled up our thingy, so we get 2020 now. That's good. Oh, dude. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Well, I don't think we're going to make it at this point. The rest of the floor would have to be very, very short. Got another level up here. Nope. Nothing good enough there. Don't give me enemies that fucking move all the time, please. Oh, 
Okay, I'm so focused right now. That didn't do anywhere near enough damage. I was basically saving that to be our saving grace. I think we're screwed. It's blue mum as well, so we're definitely screwed. And we've also our eternal heart now as well, pretty much. This all went so terribly. I can't believe how terrible the Bombonomicon was then. I thought it was going to be really fucking good. And it did like two damage. I should have waited till there was more segments out. Fuck! That golden penny sold me down the river. Golden penny did it to me. At least I can still do hush. Well, I got my eternal heart. Uh, circle of protection of, uh, I think, Dry Baby at this point. Right. You ought to get a 30 cent item here, and I should have just waited on my golden penny. I guarantee it. Right. What I tell you, 30 cent item. Um, what would I trade here? This is getting tricky. I don't even know what I'd trade here. Let me just see if this actually gives me damage first. It would. It gives me quite a bit as well. I really want this. No! I didn't mean to do that, you fuck! <laughs> you moron. I'm going to guess I'm closer to Bookworm now. Whatever. I'm a little annoyed. I knew I should have st stuck around and got my money. Um... I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got what I've what, what I've got going here. Ugh. Oh good. Pushed into the spiked rock there. I didn't even didn't even realize the gimmick of this room till too late. Level this bad boy up again. Dude, my damage feels so bad. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's thingy at least. Which one doesn't matter which one we take. We just want Bookworm. Okay, Bookworm helps a bit. Not very happy with my health right now. It's not great. Ugh. <sighs> yeah, runs recently just haven't been great in terms of completion marks. Otherwise, they've been fine. Like, they've been winnable and everything, but... Not being getting the completion marks I want. It has been slightly disappointing. Good. Golden plum in a small room. No thank you. I'm going to save Bomb and Omicron here and use it on the next floor so that I have more bombs on the hush fight. Oh no, that won't... That won't work, will it? Oh, also, this guy... Such a balanced boss. So, so fair. Literally hit him with a billion fucking brimstone bombs. And he's like, nah, that'd fuck all damage to me. I'm going to stay alive. <laughs> Don't know about that. The way that this guy's armor works is really busted. It's really silly. It's a really cool rework, but his armor needs to be heavily tweaked. It's really broken. Oh, 
Oh, that's not what I wanted. It's, it's, it kind of is, actually. Um, I don't know what to get rid of at this point. Maybe, maybe this, but I kind of like that. If I do... If I put that back down, and then I take that instead of that, 8.4... I lose a lot of damage there, don't I? Um, yeah, th that's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that. It's not ideal, but I'd rather have Cat and Nine Tails slightly more damage. And we are going. Trisagian? Okay. That's intriguing. Um... I think we take it over this, maybe? Yeah, I'll, I'll go for that. And then I'll gamble on this, but not super likely I get to keep it. Yeah, Fire Rate's kind of abysmal now, but I think with um, the way that Trisachium works with like Bugger Tears and stuff, that should be fine. Right, we're at 24 minutes, 25 minutes almost. You can see that the bugger tiers are just stacking up like crazy. It's doing pretty well. Mr. Mega. Oh, we got a rune room. Okay, that's a lot of creep that I can't really get past. Okay, we got the brimstone going now. Which kind of nullifies Trisagian, actually, so this didn't... Didn't really work out. I forgot about this item giving us brimstone eventually. Also, Midas Tears. I guess that was bullshit. <laughs> I guess it just doesn't work with Brimstone. Yeah, this is worse. This is <laughs> having Brimstone from this item is definitely worse. <sighs> this fucking phase of this fight, yeah, it's so much harder. Oh god, we do so much more damage with Trisagian. Might have to get rid of that item at some point. I might need to try and not fucking die. Like, do I even want to do hush? We didn't get our deal, unfortunately. Right, I'm going to have to go back and try and get some healing going. Dude, as if I got hit there. That was so stupid. Yeah, health has not been great throughout all of this. But yeah, also, where's my Midas Touch Tears, bitch? Game said Midas Touch Tears from that room. I haven't seen nothing yet. If I'm going to do Hush, I at least want to be at full HP. I've, I've got a little bit of time. Yeah, I, should, I should have got rid of this item a long time ago. Like, it's, it's cool, but the Brimstone thing isn't actually that useful for our run, so... Ain't ideal. Still got quite a few minutes left yet. Give me a few more red hearts gear and I'll be happy. Come on game, where's the red hearts at? I don't know 
know what's going on here. I was hoping to get some good money as well, but... Apparently money is not rolling in. Twenty-eight minutes now. We got potentially one more room up here. Yeah, now we're in brimstone ter ter territory again, and it's made our build so much worse. Can I bomb you for anything? I don't think I can. Can I? Nope. Right. Back we go. I will try, Hush. I'm not particularly enthused on the idea right now, I'll be honest. I'm going to give it a go. Obviously, unless we have a discount item, we're not going to be buying anything from Stairway here either, which is a shame. Oh, there you go. That helps with that. Um, toy box is better for now. Intriguing. Go up here first. Job's rags. Very fast fire rate to the, to the start of the floor. I'll take it for now over that. And then we've got the D6 pale. Okay, don't really care much about any of them. Don't care about any of them. So what I'll do is I'll grab the D6 from here and use it in here just to see if I get anything better. Well, there's Dad's key. Doesn't do much for us though, does it? There's a red heart, at least. Well, Steam Sale is something I very much would like to buy if we get the opportunity. Of course we don't. I could try and use this and hope it pays out before seven coins, which it very rarely does. I'm going to try it. It's, it's, it's not going to happen, though. It, it very rarely pays out before seven. Yeah, there you go. Lucky me. Oh, great. We got noisy for this fight. That's from one of the trinkets we got put on us. <clears throat> the noise is not great. Good thing is we are sticking a crap ton of stuff to him. Although it's not doing anywhere near as much damage as I would have hoped, I'll be honest. Actually, it's doing pretty good. It's doing pretty good. Against the big guy himself. <clears throat> I have to deal with this the whole time. Really annoys me how, like, the, the DPS cap and, like, armor works in this game. Like, we should be doing a fuckload more damage to this guy right now. Like, I, I don't think armor's a particularly bad thing, but the way that it works is a bit aggressive. Good old fart sound effects. Apparently all the bombs just do fart sound effects. What? How on earth did that bomb end up over there? The bombs are doing a really good job. Pop yourself up, fella. No need to hide. <laughs> so many fart sound effects. And whatever the hell that was. Dude, where are some of these bombs going? How the fuck am I meant to dodge this game? 
Be realistic. Okay, we're making our way through most of these guys. This fight's gone okay. We are unfortunately going to be going to the next floor with no money, which means stairway is not going to do too much for us. Get out from under the ground, you coward! Try and kill him, ignore the, ignore the friends. Oh no, you can't ignore the friends because he's underground again. Never ends with this man. Play fair. I can't go underground. Right. Up we go. There's no point even entering the stairway. We don't have the money, therefore. We don't have bombs either, so we can't do anything in there. And that would uh, probably likely result in um, us seeing an item and it being removed from the pool, which we might want. In the next floor. Okay. We're going to be getting random effects every room here, as you can see. That's from one of the trinkets we absorbed. Seems to always get the welting sack bombs. Seems to be like one of my most common. Ah, oh, bloody hell, I missed that tinted rock. I was pushing my bomb around by accident. Of course I've gone the wrong way here. Why wouldn't I? Ugh, wrong way again. Book are you wrong way. It keeps happening. It's been an interesting run, I think. It's been a tricky one, but it's been an interesting one. Certainly one of the harder versions of Bumbo. Another tinted rock there. I'm not quite sure what I got hit by then. Wasn't paying enough attention. Something not dead in here? Oh, fucking ghosts, man! Right, I did that literally just so I can have a bomb to come back and bomb this. Good, good, good. We need the HP. Right. Boss, where art thou? Oh my god, I can't handle another wrong way. It never ends. Oh my god. Uh, can, can, can you guys all just like, let me have a mod that lets me start with mapping all the time? Because goddamn, this is the most frustrating shit. I'm not serious, but still, it, I, I'm, I'm close to being serious, because it is really goddamn annoying. Bully is back. What the hell? I got hit again, how? It's been a weird run. I don't even know if I'm ready for Mega Satan. I think I am, but it's still... Health is a little scary. Of 
Compound Fracture is definitely something we want. Um, I guess I'd take it over Stairway. Stairway's useless now. Then what we got here? The Lifeblood Syringe. Two Soul Hearts on use can only be charged by killing eight Life Seed Sprites that may spawn when enemies die. Not particularly useful. Um, and then this can probably go instead of, and take this instead. And we just go for it. We just go for it. I, I want to go for it now while we've got the uh, extra tier rate going. We've already done the other boss. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we got the extra tier right here. Um, I don't know how sort of well Compound Fracture is actually doing for us. But it looks to be pretty good. Kills are slow going, though. It's nothing crazy. Isn't ideal. God, this is so slow. But yeah, I took the astral projection thing. One, because it's, it's a pretty good item in general. And it'll fire off a lot of bugger tears and stuff. But also, because as you can see, it gave me a holy mantle. Which I think is pretty valuable for us here. But yeah, these kills have been slow going. Very slow going. One minute. I got an itchy lip. Boom bow. Okay. It's going okay. It's going okay. We've made our way through the, the phases of spawns fairly quickly. This one has not gone so quick, and also I wasn't paying enough attention there to notice what I got hit by. There's always a slightly awkward attack when you can't really see what's going on. This attack's not so bad. Literally, micro-movements. There you go. First phase is done. Yeah, done. Second phase is, is clearly where things are going to start hotting up because I don't have anything that blocks or destroys shots. And I feel like, I'm not going to say they're mandatory, but when we have low damage, yeah, I was going to say, it, not having them is certainly going to be tricky. Basically, my hope here is that I'll stick enough bugger tears to him that I can just focus on dodging primarily. Uh, also, we have this frailty thing above our head. I'm not quite sure what that's doing to uh, negatively impact us. That was good. We unfortunately don't have any bombs for this guy either. Oh, this, this is one of my one of the attacks I hate most. It just curls in such a fucking horrible way. Like I said, luckily the bugger tears are still doing damage even when we're not. I've got him just over halfway. There's a few attacks he does that are really, really, really bad. Uh, this is probably the first one I'd say that's pretty awkward. Because you've got to be like stood at the right distance for every like segment of the attack. Of which we've done a pretty good job at so far. Yeah, we did a really good job there. But there is another one that he does that is... I think is almost impossible to dodge without some way to destroy bullets or, like, have a blockade. That was a pretty bad hit, but we're nearly done with him, so it's okay. Right, there you go. We killed Mega Satan. That was a tricky run. We got there in the end. We unfortunately did miss Boss Rush, though, which was a shame. We definitely ain't doing Void. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.